Eastern hemlock, Suga canadensis, and the Pinaceae is the most common hemlock native to the eastern United States. It also has a very distinct foliage, and that it has very flattened dark green needles that when you turn them over, have two bright white stomato bands underneath each needle. So the needles really have an interesting bicolor because of the dark green on top and the white on the underside. The cones are very small. Of course, they're not opening up yet. When they do open up, they'll be a very brown in color. Eastern hemlock has a beautiful form, a graceful habit. It can also be sheared. It's a good hedge plant. It will live for about 500 years. It is rather site sensitive. It should be on a site that has no drought stress. It does require a fairly cool, moist condition. It gets to be a very large tree with age, up to about 500 years, and fairly large in diameter. The bark is fairly distinct. It has rectangular ridges that with age become much thicker. There is a problem with the eastern hemlock. It does have a serious insect problem called the hemlock woolly adelgid, which is limiting its use in many places. You can spray dormant oil spray to get rid of the hemlock woolly adelgid in the small landscape, but over large tracts of forest throughout the northeast United States, it's a very serious pest that's eliminating eastern hemlock, the state tree of Pennsylvania, from many of our forests. Suga canadensis, eastern hemlock, and the Pinaceae.